Hello everyone, this is Chris with Sticker Fab. Sorry I haven't been putting out so many videos. We are facing a bunch of business challenges um, due to a number of things uh, that's kept me really from getting back to what I really like to do and that's creating new vinyl templates, answering some of your guys' uh, emails, questions, requests, and whatnot. But I do have a overview video today. Uh, yesterday, a customer requested Texas flags actually uh, reversed for the fenders. So I created those, those will be on the website. But this is one request that has been asked me time and time again. And just because of the amount of time it kind of takes to make this template and try it out, um, I put it off for a little while. Um, it is a hood uh, cover, uh, basically PPF that runs along the front line of the hood. I decided to go, here's like that little curve. I decided to go all the way up to this line straight across and then it comes up on the edges. Uh, it actually took a weekend and what now we're we're almost like a week into this installation before all the little bubbles on the edges started to dry out. Uh, I'm not a professional PPF installer. Uh, dragging it over the corners was a little bit challenging, but let me tell you a few tips on how you can get this installed. So this is obviously a huge wide piece. When you get it out, you want to be in that 70 to 80 degree weather, but you want to be in the shade. You want to control the amount of heat that actually gets onto it and things will dry out. Uh, it was actually raining uh, and very warm when we installed this test one. So that kind of worked against me. Go ahead, get your car washed. Take it to a car wash or wash it yourself, but also make sure to wash under all of these edges. Clean all of that out. Look, so my hands were clean when I started this install, but then from reaching and tucking everything in under the edges, they got dirty. And you can see that dirt underneath the PPF right there. It's not really noticeable when you step back from the vehicle, but that's a real good tip just to clean all of this area in here. And even once you take it to the car wash and then you get to your location where you want to do the install, make sure you have that microfiber, that speed wipe that doesn't have any wax and our application fluid and a squeegee. So do this with two, people total or three people total because you want to take this off of the backing paper and then spray that uh sticker fab application fluid spray it all on the hood the entire application area a little bit uh like up to here even because uh, you're gonna use those two people to center it up i just used my wife she's short we did an okay job of centering up because once it hits here if you have all that application fluid on there you can kind of move it around and kind of even it up so we went up to right about here on the trail site. You can see right there on the trail site on both sides. Um, use markers for places of references that you can easily uh, go up to. You could also put um, like a painter's tape right there on the same location on both sides. So that gives you a point of reference. Uh, let me take these items. Let's move this. And I'll show you under the hood how far this extends. So have your hood latch already popped, but we have it out to here. I haven't pushed back down on these corners, as you can see. You can also cut, depending on how uh, far you go up into here, you can cut a relief right on this edge so these layers fold over each other. I didn't cut that relief because we were just test fitting this. You're gonna tuck it in under all of that rubber. So you have about a half an inch all the way around if you install it exactly like me if you're off just a little bit from my install it'll be just slightly different we're going to make this in two versions because this part is the harder part where you have to stretch it over this gap get it down and then stretch it over the edge so we'll make a version that comes to right about here and then there's that full version and basically if you are confident that you can install the full version, get it over the edges, go for the full version. If you're worried about that part, then grab that shorter part. But this was something that was requested for a few people, so I finally got around to doing it. Thank you for watching this over video. Thank you overview video. Thank you for supporting us. Please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already, and hit that bell notification icon for the latest and greatest things we are working on for the 2021 and up for Bronco. Also notice these are matte black stripes. If you have matte black stripes and you start putting PPF 
in gloss over it, it's going to be gloss right here. So we will take these back off. I love these stripes, but there are some other designs I want to test out. Honestly, I should probably take them off. Probably think about doing a full color print uh, clear map on top of there. But just wanted to add that at the very end. Take that into consideration when you put it over graphics. Also, on the edge of graphics, you'll probably have water in there for a long time until it really dries up along those seams. All right. Thanks a lot, guys.